Season 7, Episode 9, The Empress Eyes. We got Stakes Part 4 here, baby. Yep, they're going after the Ice King. Luckily, Marcy can fly now, though. Uh huh. What is happening? Oh. That's not Gunther. Oh. Does she. I was going to say, does she know who. He I mean, does he know who she is? He's been so corrupted, I guess not. Pretty accurate. Well, all the better for you two. Submit. Bring me blood. At once. Hmm. No! No! Leave them alone! Oh, this is so sad. She probably wants human blood, I bet. There you go, my love. What's this? Don't you have any human? Yep, there we go. Dang. It's like a drug deal. Oh boy. Great. So we got the Ice King being a villain again. You know, it's kind of funny. Is the Ice King... Like, he's, he's kind of a bad guy, right? But like... I feel like this is the first time in a long time, if this is going where I think it's going, the first time in a long time he's actually an antagonist, right? Because, like, in the early show, he was always, like, someone that Finn and Jake had to stop. But then ever since, like, season two or whatever, it's, it's there's been so much nuance with his character that he's not really a bad guy. But, he, you know, he does, like, bad or weird things sometimes. But it seems like he's kind of slipping back into that antagonist role right now. If it's going where I'm going. If it's going where I assume it's going. Oh, oh look. I'd forgotten that one. <laughs> huh? The Empress. Hmm. Vampire. I'm gonna kick you. Vampire. I'm gonna you got this, Jake. Come on. Huh? It's, oh, it's grand. Why is there a grandfather clock? Oh, you ruined it, you fool! Bro is strapped. I kind of respect it. You know, like how people have those ammo pouches. That's pretty much. It's an ammo pouch of stakes, and I honestly respect it. Yeah, the vampires use stakes to destroy the clock. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, don't throw all your stakes. You. Ooh. Oh, come on. Simon! Marceline? What has she done to you? I would have staked her Did and then... You? I would have staked her and then... Went and to talk to... Come on, man. You gotta know what to do first. Also, he's looking in good shape again. Well, kind of. He's a little skinny. But, you know. Because, you know, sometimes he's, like, skinny. Sometimes he's more pudgy. It just depends on the mood he's in, I suppose. Where wants a hickey. It's a bit rude. Ah. She's a vampire. I hunt vampires because of you. Because of me. You know, I like this about you. 
O. I don't really think that needed to be turned into a song. It was kind of a weird song, but interesting. So her whole point of hunting vampires is for Simon. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's very interesting considering she inevitably turned into a vampire herself as well. That's great. All your tires I... of mortal emotions are all yours. Minion, I order you to kill Marceline. What? No way. Oh. She's my pal. A. Are you disobeying me? Hey, it's called real talk. A thousand years later. And you still Here's our chance. That was so easy. <laughs> Yeah, what a what a distraction. Aw oh, man. Oh cool. You got this coming. Stake her! Let's go. Yep. <laughs> You're not even hypnotized at all. Them gigantic sparkly orbs of yours can hypnotize an ear club. Was he ever hypnotized, or was he just so into it because he's a kink that he just dog? <laughs> all right, okay. You do you, King, I guess. Hey, man. I respect the grind. So, you're not. <laughs> no. You stupid <laughs> dog. Nope, nope. This way, this way. Come on. Let's get you some ice cream. That's the last time you're going to toy with his heart. If you really cared about him, why did you let him degenerate into this pathetic clown character? She didn't let him. She didn't want him to be like this. This isn't the reality Marceline wanted to live in with him, but it's the one she found herself in, because he did it to himself. He used to have more of a silver fox thing going on with his hair and those cute glasses. He was happier then, you know, when he was serving me. <laughs> Dang, girl. Come on, we can get her off. Let's cross her off the list. Oh yeah, and she's mortal now, so like... Oh no, frick. Oh! Let's go, PB! <laughs> she's like, whatever. Oh, that was personal too. Looked her right in the eyes. What was her power again? I forgot. Oh, to turn invisible. Um, Marceline? <sighs> All right. I shouldn't have tried to go it alone with the vamps. From now on, we'll do this team up style. Okay, team. You're still invisible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, baby. I love that we keep ending the episodes with just crossing other people off the list. How many? Wait, how many do we have now? So we have three left, and this is part four, so we still have four parts. So I'm guessing we're going to cross one of these guys off each episode. Hmm. How interesting. This was a very good episode. This whole arc is really good. I really dig it. I love the vibe of it and everything. 
Empress was a cool villain for this episode. I like that each of the vampires is getting their own episode to focus on them and like who they are, what they did. And we always get flashbacks of Marceline. Like this whole arc is just serving Marceline. And I really appreciate that because Marceline is one of my favorite characters because we're constantly getting flashbacks and filling in so many gaps that have just been unfilled for so long about who she is and everything. And we're doing it one episode at a time with every vampire who's the empress in this uh, episode trying to go for Simon, which I, re- I find really funny. I- I'm assuming Simon was never under the spell because he wasn't at the time when she was trying to do it again, but I assume he was never under the spell in the first place and that he was just so down bad that he would do like literally anything for her, which I find really funny to be honest. Um, but yeah, so it, it just seems like we're crossing them off the list every episode and Marceline's slowly getting her powers back, um, but without being a vampire this time. So she can be out in the sunlight and, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, she doesn't have a healing factor anymore or anything, which I don't know if that's one of the powers she will consume or if that's just part of being a vampire. But yeah, I don't know. I like Marceline being mortal now and stuff. It, it's cool. And her getting her powers back because obviously... Her powers are cool. Who wouldn't want to have them? But, yeah. Good stuff. I I really like the most this episode was focused on Marcy and the Ice King. Arguably the best dynamic in the show. <laughs> um, and so even though it was, you know, pretty minuscule in this episode, their dynamic was still great. Yeah, that's about it. And we got the team back together because Marcy decided to go out this alone. Now we got the team back together. So now we got Bonnie, we got Marcy, we got Finn, and we got Jake all back together. So, hey, happy hunting to them, I guess. This is going to be this is gonna be fun. We're already halfway through this arc, but it just keeps getting better. So I'm excited to see the next episode. So uh, without further ado, I guess... Uh, See you in the next one.